Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Dead March difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine expansion now and I was going to do the Turn and Face the Strange quest, the one that uh, is supposed to help us with our mutations, our Witcher mutations and get something more out of it. But on the way there I bumped into this armory shop. Uh, I think this guy is called yeah, Lafarge or Lafarge. I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. And he has this uh, lovely workshop. I'm going to show you on the map as well. Because it looks like this guy can help me make those Grand Master uh, equipment. I'm not really sure. So it's pretty much in the center between the Matina Gate and the Grand Palace. So uh, let's see what he can help us with. Because it's it's it looks like the map already said Grand Master Smith. So let's see. Greetings. A Witcher. From the School of the Wolf, here in Tucson. Greetings, I'm Lazar Lafarge. Lazar Lafarge. Count of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Rather. Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for which armor of exceptional quality. You're not the Red only one. Lever. You're not the only one. Heard of him. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. You found your man. If you know where to look, why not get him yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No. I rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. That sounds like a deal. Uh, so how did these uh, diagrams end up here? All these diagrams somehow wound up in Tusa? How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Sail, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them? Find the diagrams, but how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai's side. So I heard the stories of the missing witches first hand. Convenient. What he told me, well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. Sounds fair to me. How did you end up apprenticed by an elf to an elf? This elven master, how'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Poor man. Let's help him with that. So tell me where to look for them. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school. Of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Manticore? Which should I start with? Well, ob obviously the wolf, because that's what we're wearing, and is already uh, at Mastercrafted level. Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Atom. I remember him well. My master liked him, 
helped him find a safe yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Tucson from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at the Termas. He warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termas. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but both the scholars and the Witcher disappeared without a trace. So wraith, wraiths, wraiths. I still find that a pretty hard word to a word to pronounce. Not that that says anything with me, but um, so we have the griffin, the cat, the bear, and the manticore. But the manticore I haven't found yet, so that must be something specific to blood and wine. But let's uh, go from top to bottom. So the griffin next. The griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some two hundred years ago. But my master remembered him well. This witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Okay. The cat? Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome de Lone, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time he was working on new armor for the Ducal Guard. A witcher from the school of the cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the Witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, Sounds like someone from the but cat school, it has all right? fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. Okay, the bear school? Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tien Sail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear head medallion that hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True, this one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed, the bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. Okay, that sounds bad. And then the Manticore? School of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it, though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a witcher named Merkel. So I think the Manticore gear is modeled after the gear from the original witcher game. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. To Bust death? Away prison, where he was held... Well, it's been a ruin for years. 
Still, you may want to start your search there. Okay, so now we know everything we need to. Uh, I'm quickly going to check out his inventory. Maybe he has some of that original Manticore gear. What do you have on offer? So let's see, a lot of cool looking armor. Uh, not something I'm going to wear, but you never know. Uh, what's this? Enriched Dimeridium. Oh, God. I'm going to lose a lot of money again, I fear. Uh, so nothing in the, in the sense of diagrams. Well, interesting diagrams, that is. Maybe I could sell a few weapons to him either way or armor. Because I have found a few things. Okay. Nothing of interest, so uh, there we go. Farewell. So let's Farewell. see if we can Good find those uh, woven diagrams. Find all the diagrams in the set. Go to the ruins of Bastoy Prison. No. Ah, god damn it, it was over there. There we go. Grandmaster Woven Gear. So I'll uh, see you guys at the archaeologist's camp in a minute. So it looks like there's a sort of elven ruin over there. Not that the pointer, it's starting to go to the right. So here we have another fast travel point. The Thermos Palace Ruins. I'm gonna quickly show you on the map. Should look around. So it's right over here. I started out at the Trastamara Hunting Cottage, which uh, is where we uh, found the Spotted White and Marlene. Um, I think that was the case, yeah, okay. So it's in the uh, southeast part of the map, the Thermos Palace Ruins. So let's see if we can't find anything here. Uh, there are stuff here. False teeth and a dull meteorite axe. We might be able to use that meteorite. Something underneath here. Sounds like a boar close by as well. Isabelle Duchamp's journal. Okay then. Logbook of the archaeological expedition under the guidance of Isabelle Duchamp. Our excavation is underwritten by Oxenford Academy. Its goal is to study the ancient elven ruins at Thermes and subsequently locate and find a way into the underground chambers beneath them using the purple ruby of Aid Ginvale. March 26th. We have arrived in Tusa, one of the many trifling little realms in, Nilfgaardian, in the Nilfgaardian Empire. Our journey took place without incident legible fragment. Next day, Master Tian Sale, a local elf, advised us against entering the ruins. So that's the the blacksmith. As a precaution, we have hired a witcher. Two weeks later, we have pitched a camp and conducted preliminary reconnaissance. Four days later, and the quarreling continues. The witcher advises us to end the expedition and someone has yet again brought up that canar about an ancient curse. Four days later, the entrance to the underground chambers is indeed protected by a barrier. We must await the witch's return. He has to use the purple ruby to... They were scholars. Okay. Should have guessed the passages inside were blocked for a reason. Good thing they didn't try to go in there without a witcher. But apparently that didn't work out so well now, did it, Geralt? So let's see. So next up we need to try and enter those ruins then. What is this? There's a hole in the floor here. Is this the way in? Or... There's a chest here. Ooh, blue, blue armor die! Do, do I need to go... There's a way in here. No, 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 no! No, oh, fuck. Okay. What the hell is this? Mushrooms. And guard boots. That's not really something, is it? To hide that underneath this uh, this staircase. Here we go. Well, staircase, ladder, ladder. Get out, Geralt. Okay. So let's head toward the ruins and see if we can find anything in here. I hear a place of power, which is a great way to start it off. There's a lot of chests here as well. And a lot of crafting components. Mm, magic. A place of power. Okay. 
What is this? A little box? Well, it's, it's interesting loot to start with. So we probably need to drop down. Can I do that here without breaking my legs? Yes, I can. Where is this place of power? Sounds like it's higher right now. It's underneath here. Oh. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. Okay. This is interesting. It's not where we need to go. I'm gonna accept it nonetheless. Because there's a lot of uh, fancy loot here as well. So let's select art. And blast our way through here. And there we go. A Quen sign place of power. Uh, activate it. Yeah, there we go. Fancy. Is there another way to enter this than what I just did? Probably not. And another fancy chest. Toussaint Ducal Guard Captain's Boots. Okay then. Thanks for that. Another ability point we can spend later on. I can't even sprint in this place. Oh, this is probably the way you should go. Kind of fucked that up. So, we need to head to the other side of the ruins to uh, enter the temple itself. So let's take a sprint here and then jump. Oh! Don't move, Geralt. Don't move. Uh, so down here. And then drop down. Yeah, okay. Try to avoid the wolves. This looks like it. No? There's more dead people here. I'll take your money. But otherwise... Maybe it's lower than where we are. It's indicated as a cave, so there's another door here. Oh, yeah, that kind of looks like it. Looks like the barrier, barrier from... Uh, Got a bad feeling, damn it. From, what was it called? The uh, Tower Out of Nowhere. Yeah, so now we need to find that purple ruby that we probably need to put in there. Find the key. Is it supposed to be right here? Oh, there's the purple ruby. George Herbert's letter. Let's read that as well. Dear Hadawiga, or I suppose it's Hadwiga or something like that. You were absolutely correct to advise against this journey. Why did the Dean of Archaeology entrust its leadership to the hands of this quadroon? Who found the violet ruby of Aidgin Vale, me or her? You must know the Witcher has returned after all. The ruby removed the barrier as I held it would from the start and allowed him to explore the interior. Can you believe the Witcher almost convinced that Duchamp to return to town to hire additional guards? We don't know what dangers are in store for us. Now there's someone who knows how to pat this his billable hours. Yeah, okay, so now there's someone who knows to, how to pat his billable hours. Duchamp took to it the idea, recalling the tale about the tomb being cursed, yet I convinced the company not to put any stock in fairy tales. We must hurry, I said, for what if someone beats us to it and robs the elven treasury first. Because as you know, according to my translation, the most precious can only mean one thing. Yeah, Lord of the Rings. The lost treasure of King Devatalf? Soon it shall be ours. And then bloodstains. A later addendum partly obscured by bloodstains. The Witcher was right. We should never have gone in there. That is an accursed place. I barely managed to escape, crawl out and take the ruby. The portal has closed, I am safe, but the others... I don't think he's safe, because he's looking kind of dead. Ah, uh, this doesn't look like a good idea, but hey, let's put that in. Uh, I'm gonna save first. Here we go. So let's... So, okay. That's great. Let's go with Spectre Oil to start with, because this doesn't look good. Hello? That's better. Okay. Why? Why am I holding a torch? 
Can I put the torch away? Yeah, thank you. So let's take out the Pargas as well. They actually go down pretty easy with the Spectroid equipped. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, they go down really easy with the Spectre Oil. Holy crap. Let's take the loot. We don't know how valuable that Bargast Essence is. And if it's any indication with the Wraith loot. And it could be quite something. So it seems like there's something behind here. Although I can't crack this. Oh, never mind. Let's see. Hello? There seems to be more ghosts behind here, but what the? There's clearly something behind this wall, but I don't think I can't access it from here. There's a chest. Oh, fuck. What was that? Whoa! What the? What the hell is that? A giant centipede. Oh shit! I'm gonna guess Igni? Oh shit, I waste that! Jesus! Yeah, I saw him beneath me. Jesus! Okay, that did something. Okay, let's swap to Insectoid Oil. Because we're going to be able to use that. Oh, wow. He didn't care. <laughs> that was close. Okay, so if he takes his distance, he's gonna dive at me. And otherwise, we get this shit. Okay. Well, I'm starting to think that the uh, the oils are way more effective than just the 50% that it states. Red mutagen, acid extract, giant centipede discharge, and mandibles. That's... Cool. Uh, I think there was a chest here, right? Yeah. Uh, no diagrams yet, sadly. So what's next in this gauntlet of creatures? Let's switch to art and blast this open. Looks like more raids, raids, raids. So back to Spectre Oil. Factory oil. I'm really convinced about the oils right now. That's just amazing how much difference that makes. Okay, so let's just quickly loot everything and continue wherever we need to go. Because we just dropped down, right? We just dropped down from somewhere over there, yeah, that hole. So we could go either way. This is the, the locked part, yeah. So that's where we were looking at. Uh, there seems to be a dead body here. The Witcher brought the ceiling down to bury his foes. Ended up burying himself. Oh, there too. we go. So the steel sword, silver sword, and the gauntlets. Okay, so that's half of the diagrams. Let's continue through this maze. Wow. This looks like a, a tomb. Epitaph, King Divitaph. Here lies our father. He died so that others may live. 
So that's the, the Elven King they were talking about. So they were right about something at least. Satchel looks like it belonged to a Witcher. Okay. The other tree diagrams then? Oh look at that. And the Rebus. Great. I don't have Carreros' journal. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised, Master T T and Sale, so the the blacksmith again. Ask such a steep price to forge Grandmaster armor. No other craftsman in the world his equal. I tried to tell wise old Vesemir what he gave me would barely be enough for one silver sword. Tracked halfway across the world to get here from Kaer Morin, and for what? Eh, gonna have to look around for some work. Today, Tian Sale introduced me to the leader of an archaeological group, but in the end we reached a deal. Check the area out and it seems calm enough, though my medallion did buzz in a few spots near the ruins. That's why I told him to pitch camp a bit further away from the main entrance. Who the blazes knows what might be living inside. They've also mentioned something about a curse. So I guess I should expect grates, barges, maybe. Damage should have asked for more. Tomorrow we start exploring. So you were right about all of that. Um, but I'm not really sure what else we might find in this place. So we have all the diagrams. So that's, that's complete. So now we can get back to... Uh, our friend the uh, armorer and try to build this but there seems to be more here what's this copper ore I'm gonna take a look around because there might be more loot here yeah I know I completed the scavenger quest but as uh, as you know all my scavenger quests always end up with me actually making the thing as well old elven key probably fits the door there we go Unlocked it, and now I'll probably have to walk away and walk towards it again. There we go. So more wraiths, and that's the door we came in through. So yeah, I don't even need to fight the wraith, I suppose. Hello! Okay, that was easy. So now we're gonna head back to the, uh, the Grandmaster Armor and uh, craft ourselves our Grandmaster Armor. Which will probably wear until the end of, uh, well, the complete play playthrough, probably. So see you guys there in a minute again. I must say, it's a pretty sad way to die as a witcher, to get buried underneath a bunch of rubble. That guy get... That guard has lost his head! Oh, there it is. Holy shit, that was spooky. So let's go to the Grandmaster what? Smith and uh, hopefully can, he can help us with that because the, the textures haven't loaded in yet. That's uh, the problem. Greetings. Greetings. I hope your search goes Yes, well. we have diagrams for you. Found something already. Managed to find something already. Wonderful. I shall draft a copy. This is good. This at last will earn me the title of Grandmaster. I thank you, Witcher. You're welcome. And now uh, you can uh, master, 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 master completed. And uh, you can help me by crafting all that. So uh, craft something for me, will you? Would you craft something for me? Oh, and I got 500 of crowns course. as well. Okay, so let's see. Boots. Grandmaster boots. I want Grandmaster woven boots. God damn it, of course. So we need infused slizzard hide. An enriched dimeridium plate. I have no idea how to make that, but hey, let's see further on. I have way too many things I can make. Grandmaster Wolven Armor, two of the infused lizard hide, and two enriched dimeridium plate, which costs 4,500 each. Jesus Christ, I hope I can craft that. Uh, so let's go down and see if I can actually make that enriched stuff. Enriched Dimeridium Plate. I need two Enriched Dimeridium Ingots. And I need Enriched Dimeridium Ore for that! Seriously, there's no other way to make that? Enriched Dimeridium Ore only from... Oh! Dimeridium Ore, or a Calcum Ore, and Acid Extract. I can, I think, make the Infused Slizzard Hide with the Infused Crystal. I can make one. So let's do that already. Let's check out the Gauntlets. Yeah, of course. Oof, this is gonna hurt. Enriched Dimeridium Ingots. So, elementals usually drop infused shards, and I can use that to create infused crystals. Infused crystals I can then use to actually make 
that uh, infused slizzard hide. There we go. So I can now make four of those. Because I'm running out of cured dragon in leather as well. Okay, okay. Not, not, not something to worry about. Give me a second. So I can make four of those. With the auricalcum ore that I just bought. Which gets me two enriched dimeridium ingots. Which isn't much, actually. And I'm draining my funds really quickly now. I'm gonna try and get the rest by buying them. Hopefully. So I'm gonna go for the swords first. So I have everything I need for the Grandmaster Wolf and Silver Sword. So let's go with that. There we go. So they're all level 41, by the way, if you uh, wanna know. The Steel Swords, two Enriched Dimeridium Ingots, a Ruby, and one bit of Monster Essence. There we go, the Steel Sword. Then we have the Grandmaster Boots. One Infused Slizzard Hide, one Enriched Dimeridium Blade, four Monster Blood, and two Monster Hearts. There we go. The Grandmaster Wolven Gauntlets. One Slizzard Hide, one Enriched Dimeridium Ingot, Two powdered monster tissue and one monster heart. There we go. The Grand Master Trousers. One slizzard hide, one enriched dimeridium plate, two monster blood and two monster hearts. There we go as well. And last but not least, the Grand Master Wolven Armor. Two infused slizzard hides, two enriched dimeridium plates, one monster heart, one monster stomach. And a whopping 4,119 coins. That entire set cost me about 30,000 coins, I think, in total. I sold everything I had. I'm gonna have to prepare these a bit more, but here we go. Grandmaster Wolven Gear. Uh, the stupid thing is also that I don't need the, the normal Grandmaster Gear. So the Mastercraft gear, you don't need it. Look here, you have the Superior Wolven Armor you need. For the Grandmaster Wolven Armor, you don't have that uh, prerequisite. So you could technically buy everything without having to upgrade from the original pieces. But hey, let's check this out. Because of course, I'm now still wearing the Mastercraft gear and not the Grandmastercraft gear. So I'm going to quickly swap this out. Dressed to kill, because look at that we are now officially in uh grandmaster woven gear so the texture on the red bits are a bit more intricate right now the the, the trousers are also now completely red uh there's an armor plate uh on the top of our body armor right now so that wasn't there before as well i think we got a lot more spikes added as well so let's head outside and look at that in the sunlight the swords also look a bit different uh, so uh, look at that, our first complete Grandmaster armor set. Let's uh, check it out in the uh, inventory screen as well. So um, I think we could, yeah, there we go. So look at that, look at that. Uh, pan, there we go. So yeah, that's it, the Grandmaster woven gear. In the fool. So thank you guys enormously for watching. I hope this guide helped you out a bit to get your uh, your very own Grandmaster armor set and weapons. And uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to check it, check my channel out, and subscribe if you want to, because I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video series. Goodbye.